Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyla and I am oh so excited to have you here with us today. So today's video is, you know, I had a bunch of videos pre-filmed for you guys and then I, um, you know, I was going to upload them and then um, all of the uh, COVID-19 stuff happened and is currently happening and if you are someone like me, um, you are basically confined to your house. Um, not that I really went anywhere besides my job anyway. <laughs> because I am an introvert as you know and so I will have a couple videos um coming like this one where it's you know activities to keep you entertained and healthy and um you know we even have some family bonding ones in there so um if um you are kind of bored and you happen to be like me and you love your Netflix and your Hulu um stay tuned because this video is totally for you um Yes, you probably shouldn't binge the entire quarantine period, but um, I myself have done a good deal of binging in my life and I think I turned out okay. So um, I have a list of 10 plus TV shows that I personally enjoy. Um, these are, if you are someone who is probably under the age of 17 or so, I would recommend clicking out of this video and coming back for my other quarantine activities video because I myself like to watch a lot of TV shows that are like the opposite of me. So they're like, um, really, I don't know. They're kind of, they have like the TV mature rating things. So, um, yes. So if you're somebody who's not a fan of that, I love you with all my heart, but go ahead and click out of this video and I will see you next time. Okay. So these are not in any particular order. Um, no, my regular, my Dallas will not be in here because this is something like TV shows that you can access on Netflix and Hulu um, for you Amazon Prime people. I actually don't have that, so um, that will not be included, but if you have Netflix or Hulu. Um, so I have a couple, you know, from each genre, and I'm gonna stop rambling. So the first one on my mental list is um, something that I have seen probably five times all the way through, and that is the Netflix series Orange is the New Black. Now, definitely, with that being the first one on this list, if this gives you an idea of, like, um, I guess how appropriate most of these are. Um, there you go. Um, you guys have probably heard me talk about Orange. I love it. It is all seven seasons are on Netflix and it is finished. So if you want to go binge watch that, that is a show that I watched the first four seasons of, you know, within like a two week period. And before that, like I wasn't really a binger and I guess that was the first show I ever really thoroughly binged watched. Okay, next is definitely one that has been around for a really long time and I actually two of my best friends have started watching watching this during um, this whole thing and they started freaking out because they were like wait isn't Kyla obsessed with this show and yes um, it is Law and Order Special Victims Unit yes there's like the other Law and Orders but let's be real this is the best one um, you can watch all 21 seasons if you desire um, it is on Hulu um, I am currently that is one of the couple shows I am currently re-watching so I'm on season two for probably the third time but um Yes, SVU, really, really good. Um, fantastic. Like, everything's different, but, you know, um, in each episode, but they all connect in some way. So if you're, like, a mystery person and you really want to, like, look for something to solve, like, you solve the case, um, that's perfect for you. Next, we have my favorite comedy series ever, The Golden Girls. And if you're literally just looking to laugh at four old ladies who are the most vicious, sarcastic things ever, that's totally perfect for you. I'm not really a comedy person, but The Golden Girls, that show actually helped me through a really hard time in my life. So like if I'm really sad or anything, I will honestly just go watch The Golden Girls and I literally just cry because it's the funniest. Oh my god. Like it's the funniest thing you'll ever watch. So um yes, Golden Girls excellent. Is it is an oldie, but it is a goodie and it is on Hulu. Next, um this is a show that um I was totally opposed to watching for years and years and I was like no, but now it's like one of my favorite um, franchises ever and that is the Walking Dead franchise and I've seen everything in the original um, up to season eight then I kind of like stopped but um it is really good I'm actually kind of like re-watching it you know periodically I'll put it on um I love this cast I love these characters and it actually brings me to my next show which it's kind of like a bonus I wasn't going to put this in here because it's kind of like the same thing but um that is the prequel Fear the Walking Dead and if you know, you know my girl Kim Dickens is in that and 
you know that's why I love it but anyway it's just the prequel to The Walking Dead and um I watched the first three seasons of it and then I stopped for um reasons that if you've seen or you know me you know why but um Fear and the actual Walking Dead super good really really good I could not stop like I was when I first discovered the actual Walking Dead I was supposed to be writing a paper and I watched the first season in one day when I was supposed to be writing a paper um don't do that I did get an A on the paper but like just don't do that but if that tells you how good it is yes um next let's see um okay the 100 um the 100 is super good I this was actually a show that randomly my whole family watched um, it's really good. It's kind of like another one of the apocalyptic ones. Um, it's just really, really good. Um, it does get a little bit in the last couple seasons, which I haven't watched, but it's it's really good for like the first couple seasons. It's pretty awesome. Um, another show kind of like that and another one that my whole family kind of like watched was um, Lost, where you know they like crash on the plane and then they end up on the island and they have to like form like their whole little society so Lost is really good too um I was thinking about getting back into that because it is on Hulu now but um I just haven't yet okay so I have another one another comedy one and this is actually a new one that I've discovered and that is um Schitt's Creek and it is with um Eugene Levy and his son and um Catherine O'Hara so the mom from like Home Alone so yes um it is freaking hilarious like I literally cry every time like just about as much as I would cry for the Golden Girls like Schitt's Creek is funny um Wentworth uh basically the Australian version of Orange is the New Black but um don't tell anybody but I kind of think it's better than Orange because I binged all seven seasons and then literally the day I finished I went and started season one again and now I've seen it twice. Um, it is a show that gets better with every season. Season one you're kind of like mm, okay and then like season two you just you can't stop. Let's see what's next. Oh this is a show I haven't finished and I have two ants that literally ask me all the time have you finished this and no I have not but it is Sons of Anarchy and yes it is like kind of old and basically like done but literally I felt so many things watching this like there were moments where my heart was actually pounding so fast because I didn't know what the heck was happening and it just like it's so shocking the writing is great the actors are amazing that has my girl Katie Seagal in it and um yes it's just it's fantastic I think the last one I'm gonna end with is a new one that I recently discovered and I'm kind of ashamed of this because I spent an entire day watching basically the entire first season of this and I don't do that because I feel like I've done absolutely nothing but that is Outlander and yes like most of the things I watch it is based off of a book series um it's time travel and you know historical and I love historical things um it's it's really really good um you have to kind of like get into it to um you gotta watch it like a couple episodes to really get into it and then you're like oh my god I love these people and they're just they're it's really awesome great show and I'm actually I took a break so I think I'm going to continue it pretty soon but hopefully you guys found some shows or you want to go check them out at least um let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these what you like about them what you don't or if any of them sounded interesting to you and so on and so forth i hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and i will be praying for you all if you have not already give this video a big thumbs up hit that really cool subscribe button and tap that fantastic notification bell so you can know the exact moment i post a new video i will see you guys all next time have a blessed day everybody Thank you.